Hi everyone, today we're talking about symbols of notation. So what is notation anyways? Well, notation is the written symbols representing music. So as you learn how to read music, you're gonna have to know what these symbols mean. And there's tons of symbols, but don't let it overwhelm you. You gotta start at the beginning with the most simple symbols, and as you grow older, you'll learn more and more. The first symbol we'll be talking about today is a music staff. A music staff is made up of five sideways or horizontal lines going across a page, and it's where all the other symbols are gonna end up. Music staffs are separated into sections by our next symbol called bar lines. Bar lines are up and down, vertical lines that separate a staff into measures. Our third symbol is a treble clef, and a treble clef tells you to use high pitches. Now there are other kinds of clefs too, including a bass clef, which tells you to use low pitches. But because we use our high singing voices in elementary school, we'll just stick with the treble clef for today. Now if you want to learn how to draw a treble clef, here are some pointers. I like to start by drawing a slanted P. Then I bring the curve around to make a G shape, and I finish by adding a little tail out the bottom. So again, I make a slanted P, I curve it around to make a G shape, and I add a little tail out the bottom. Our next symbol is a time signature. Now in elementary school, our most common time signature is a 4-4 time signature. A 4-4 time signature tells you that you're gonna be using four beats in between the bar lines, or in the measure. Next, we're gonna fill in those beats with various rhythms. We'll start with just three simple rhythms. The first is a quarter note, and a quarter note fills up one beat. Our next symbol are eighth notes. Eighth notes can be together or separate. They still sound the same, they just look a little bit different. Eighth notes are shorter rhythms, so you can fit two of them inside of each beat. Third rhythm is a quarter rest. Quarter rests still fill up a beat, however, they're silent. Let's talk about how to draw a quarter rest. My best advice is that you start by drawing the letter Z, and then underneath it, you make a C. So again, it's a Z and a C. I hope that helps. Now, everything between the bar lines is called a measure. All right, guys, let's do a quick speed round to make sure you remember these symbols of notation. The five lines that go across a page of music are called a music staff. The up and down lines that separate a music staff are called bar lines. The long squiggly symbol at the beginning of a music staff that tells you to use high pitches is called a treble clef. The 4-4 time signature tells you how many beats you're gonna be using in a measure. Quarter notes fill up one beat. Two eighth notes together fill up one beat. And a quarter rest fills up one beat. It's just a beat of silence and everything between the bar lines together is called a measure. Well guys, you're now well on your way to starting to learn how to read music. I hope this video has been helpful, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.